I said I only aspire to be rap sire Hit a place, whoever riding high on flat tires Whatever buzz you niggas think you want, I'm past higher Fucking like I'm quagmire, hoping shit don't backfire I'm growing past tired of the bullshit Fuck the fake drama, knockout flow The maid Donna for you a promise A mama, promise that I'ma get him Promise to keep his promise, promise that I'ma kill him Get done up if you alone, when niggas is shooting chrome These niggas will let it go, to stay in the newest forms uh, Use your dome or play the role like you been rings But with this pin What up YouTube, this your boy down low back for another reply But before that, let's talk about something that's going on in the music industry, man So the Billboard chart dropped for this week, man And I hate to harbor on the same shit from week to week But come on, dude, this shit is rather ridiculous So Iggy Azalea, who set all kinds of motherfucking records on the Billboard chart She's only up to 282,000 units sold right now And then you look directly under her on the Billboard chart You see Trey Songz with Trigger, who didn't get nowhere near that amount of love that she got, but yet he still got up there to 200,000 units sold. So all the time and money that they put into Iggy Azalea trying to be a hot new artist because she supposedly had the new hot buzz, it was all just a waste. But anyway, on to today's reply, and today's reply is to that Chevy Woods, Shooters, and you know what man, I'm really disappointed at this man. This is overall just a bad song, but I see what the fuck is going on here. Shady Woods has the skills to drop dope ass songs, we all know this shit man, but this song seems like an overt attempt to just give people what the fuck they want today. And you know, that's the thing that we see in the music industry a lot today, dog. Because trying to put out good music and be successful in the commercial industry, it's like you're fighting upstream, man. You're going against the current of the fucking ocean. That's what it fucking feels like. You do your best, you put out a lot of great music, man, but you're not making any leeway. But as soon as you start going with the flow, dropping the bullshit that everyone else is dropping, then a lot of times success follows that. Like my homie Lil Quincy sent me a message, man, saying, it's funny how Lil Wayne, once he started dropping the bullshit music, that's when his damn career took the fuck off. And that shit couldn't be true, dog. We're definitely getting to the point where the internet is getting us out of that shit, man. But we still in the midst of it. I mean, as independent artists, you gotta work way harder, but yet you still have that potential, man, to make the music that you want and get the funds that you want at the same damn time. And today I released a pretty powerful article, man, that I wrote today in which I'm not even going to summarize it here because it needs to be hard in its entirety. So, man, if you're not subscribed to the Topaz Yates channel, because I'm going to do this entire article in full on a whole nother video, man. Definitely subscribe to that channel, peep it out, and read the article, man. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to downloadpads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.